Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guy. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, as you can see, I've got a review here of the Calor uh, color pencils. This is the 180 set. Um, as always, I will have prices and links and set size availability over on the written review, over on the Art Gear Guide. Um, but today I just want to talk about these pencils, show you them, let let you uh, know as much about the pencils as possible and we'll just get through them on a proper review. So, first thing is, a lot of people in the colour pencil world are talking about the, the, the influx of cheap Chinese made products that are coming into the market at the minute. Um, and it's not my place to say whether there is a place for these types of pencils or not. It's, it's as far as I'm concerned, all I'm going to do is review the product, show you exactly what it can do or what it can't do, and leave it down to you. Uh, I don't think I should be preaching whether you should or shouldn't be buying from certain products or certain countries or anything like that. That's not my place whatsoever. But there, there is uh, a, a large percentage of pencils that are pretty much very very similar to to one another just branded by different companies and it's it's important that we try to determine which pencils are which and you know make sure that we're just not rebuying the same type of product just in a different brand uh, and hopefully with these reviews that I've now done, especially now that I'm using the likes of AliExpress to get pencils from uh, Asia and, uh, you know, from, from the countries like India and China and uh, Russia and pl places like that. Hopefully now that I'm able to get pencils like that and bring them over onto the review, it'll show you, uh, we'll, we'll be, together we'll be able to whittle that down. So first thing is first, it says here on the tin, premium coloured pencils, then it says premium, and then it says expert. Artist premium quality, rich and vibrant colours, soft, smooth, lead, non-toxic. And then all the way around the sides of the set, it says the same thing. Uh, artist quality, rich and vibrant colours. Um, and again, want to be a professional artist, start here. Let me just say this right off the bat. These are not professional artist quality pencils. How they are able to get away with saying this, I do not know. Um, I think colour pen. listen, I'm not a marketing expert. And I, I, I do understand that in the marketing and business world, you have to entice people in through the door first before you can start selling them your product. And for companies like this, it, it comes down to labeling, titles, things like that. But you, it, it's wrong, in my opinion, to say that a product is expert or premium or artist quality when it's clearly not. Um, now, that's not to say the product isn't good, but it's not that quality. It's not artist quality. Artist quality is uh, Caran d'Ache Luminance, Derwent Lightfast, Faber-Castell Polychromos, uh, Karen Dash Pablo, those pencils are artist quality because of their light fast uh, ratings and all, all the other um, all the other factors that that are needed to make a, a light fast or to, to make a, an artist's pencil. <clears throat> so that's the first thing. The uh, artist quality they are not. Now, as I'm talking here, I'll I'll be putting up uh, images of the the layers of pencils that are in this. As, as well as the the swatch that I made. So like you can see here, there's 180 colors in the set, uh, which is great. It, it, it gives a great scope of colors. And when, you, when you're looking at the barrels here, as you can see the, the images popping up on the screen here of the different layers, a lot of the barrels, when you look at them just as they are, they look exactly the same colours, but when you get the pencils down, and you'll see this in a second when the actual swatches come up, the, the colours are different. So, 
looking at the pencils it looks like the colors are all the same but once you actually swatch them the, the colors are different so that's just down to the fact that the, these barrels don't correspond exactly with the actual pigment and that's not just with these pencils that's widespread across uh, the, the color pencil medium but as you can see here now with the the, the swatch uh, they've got a on the first layer here they've got like a really nice but uh, metallic range of color pencils and they are metallic uh, even when you sharpen them you can see the you can see the glitter and sheen in the 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 actual pigment um, really nice selection of grays uh, grays that have got like you know greenish gray light brownish gray um, dark gray silver gray you know grays that have got little tints of color in them which I I personally like so that that's really nice nice selection of browns think maybe they've gone a little bit over the top with the, the the purples and violets and stuff like that um a nice selection of greens some of the greens are a little bit repetitive uh but nonetheless it's a nice selection of greens and uh like turquoise colors in here as well the blues are a little bit similar as well i think they they, they maybe could have done something different with the blues i there's not really a super dark blue in this like uh, an indigo blue but um, there, it's okay. Then when we come down to like the likes of the reds and the uh, oranges, again the reds are really nice, nice dark reds here, like this uh, burnt brick red, uh, and then some some like oranges and yellows, uh, uh, and a couple of flesh tones. I think they could have maybe done a little bit better on the flesh tones, but like I say, they're not artist quality. So that's the the actual swatch, the color. Uh, palette off the pencils. So let's take a look at the actual pencil and um, we'll, we'll show you Everything there is to say about the pencil. So the first things first. It's quite a slim pencil um, The core is 3.1 millimeter and the barrel is 7.4 millimeter as I said earlier on there the uh, the barrel is lacquered the same color as the core, but obviously they're not identical uh, along the the barrel it says the the name of the pencil here which is color uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong so I apologize if I am uh, next to that there is uh, the pigment name uh, and it's all quite the, the nice thing about this is obviously it's metallic writing but it's quite big so it's I know some pencils some pencil manufacturers have really small lettering on their pencils and then at the very end here there's a number which corresponds to the pigment on the very end of the pencil there is um, no cap so you can see the the actual um, core now on on the 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 issue of being able to see the core as you can see with this pencil this is not anywhere near the center and that in itself causes problems with sharpening and the uh, cores falling out, uh, shattering halfway down, that type of thing. But not only are the cores not centered, I mean like some of them are, uh, some, some of the cores are centered, let me see, uh, there you go, you can see that blue, relatively centered. Um, green just a little bit off center um, and the yellow there very center however some of these pencils and I don't know how I can show you this so unfortunately you're just gonna have to take my word for it um, some of these pencils the, the the actual barrel is twisted and warped so in other words like when you roll it when you roll it on a flat surface you, you can hear that it's that it's kind of like bowed now so if you've got a if you've got a barrel that's bowed I'm not too sure if you, you can see there no I've, I've tried taking photographs of this to show you because the bow is slight but it is there and you can see it when you roll the pencil anyway so if you've got a, a barrel that's bowed and you've got a core that's not centered well, that that's just a recipe for you know, uh, just not f 
pure frustration when you're trying to sharpen these pencils, which I did have on a lot of the colours that I used on the artwork, which I'll show you in a second, the artwork that I was able to do with them. But here's the thing, and this is what's really frustrating about these pencils. The core itself is really nice. It's not Prismacolor soft or anything like that, but it is nice. And I'll sh on the tests here, I'll show you in a second that it blends beautifully, layers gorgeously as well. But the build quality is just terrible, absolutely terrible. And so I don't know whether somebody sat around and said, you know what, let's make a pencil that's quite similar to Prismacolor. They make the pencil and then somebody says, well, hang on a second. If we're going to make the pencils just like Prismacolor, we've got to add in the fact that we do no quality control when these pencils leave the factory. And I know Prismacolor have addressed that issue now, but it used to be an issue with Prismacolor. The, the cores would break all the time and it was incredibly frustrating for artists. Um, and so that was my biggest, biggest frustration with these pencils all the way through the artwork that I'd done. Okay, so here you can see the layering test and the layering test, uh, I again, I done this on Clairefontaine paint on mixed media paper, which is a really nice paper, uh, not too expensive, but it has that little bit of texture, but it's still smooth at the same time. So it's kind of like an in, uh, an in-between paper between the likes of Bristol Smooth and then Bristol Vellum. It's kind of like in, in around there. You can see here that the layer test, that they layered really, really well. There was no bloom or anything like that. No uh, tacky stickiness, anything at all like that. Then the, the heavy application that I applied here, again, you know, there was no resistance with the... Um, the core when I was doing that. Uh, so on that side of things, really nice. On the blending test here, again, you can see that they blend and mix beautifully. The core, the, the colors here, the, the yellow and the blue, uh, has created a very, very clear green. Sometimes when you do these colors and you blend them, you don't really get uh, the, the color that you're supposed to get. You, you'll get like a, a muddy, representation of that color but you can see here that the, that's clear green uh, here with the, the the red and yellow you've got a really nice orange and then here down here with the blue and red you've got um, a, a, a nice purple but it is just so frustrating that the build quality on these pencils is terrible um, and there's no getting away from it uh, which is just really such a shame uh, I've done two spheres down here at the bottom one I'm going to I'm going to use odorless mineral spirits on it now just to show you. Okay, so I'm just using a uh, zested uh, odorless mineral spirits here. I use this all the time whenever I'm doing these tests. It's the only um, odorless mineral spirits I use. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to kind of blend and mix this one here with the the odorless mineral spirits and then i'm going to do this one here with our uh the, the white pencil that comes in the set so just let me zoom in i personally don't ordinarily use odorless mineral spirits when i'm doing my artwork um i'll use a, a pencil blender or the white pencil or something like that but i know a lot of guys i know a lot of you guys out there do use odorless mineral spirits so uh, I, I have done it on the artwork that I used with these pencils and I'm obviously doing it here. Now, the, the artwork that I've done, um, which I'll show you in a second, I completed that artwork uh, just with the, the, the pencils at first, but then I decided that in order to try out the, the odorless mineral spurts properly, I'll put a background in. Um, and I used a lot of layers um, and I got really quite nice favorable results as you can see here the the, the 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 pigment of the pencil is is breaking down nicely and it is allowing me to create that really smooth Uh, transition uh, so I, I'll have like a before and after photograph here that you can see but again I'll have these images over on the art gear guide where you can go across to the written review click on it and inspect it much much closer um, but the pigment there broke down really nice 
and so it, as far as I'm concerned the they work really really nicely with odorless mineral spirits whenever you're blending so now I'm going to blend this one here with the white pencil um, and there there you go so there, there's the first problem so I've just used that and there's the core out again um, let me just quickly sharpen it here sorry guys okay so I'm back just sharpened it there I, I've also found that when the core does break I can't use like a, a little handheld sharpener anymore I've got to go and use the Caran Dash um, hand crank sharpener or any hand crank sharpener because it holds the, the, the barrel still but anyway uh, just let me do this very very quickly for you and show you the the blending of the colour I'll probably speed this bit up actually okay there you go so um, you can you, hope, hopefully even in this sped up version of that you will have been able to see that I was able to um, you know get rid of all that white paper underneath which is the reason why you would ordinarily use uh, odorless mineral spirits or a blending pencil once once you've put all your layers down the good th the, obviously the good thing about using odorless mineral spirits is that you can go back over it and put uh, other layers on so before we go on to the dark paper test you can see here that um, the, the images that I'm showing you is of the artwork now in fairness I was actually really surprised with the artwork how it came out uh, I, I think it looked really nice uh, this bird is gorgeous in real life. It's the uh, American Kestrel. Uh, uh, I think that's the right name of this bird. It's absolutely gorgeous. I only came across this bird um, about a week ago or so when I was looking for images to draw and I just seen it and I thought it looked striking. Uh, and if any of you guys have ever seen this bird in real life, I'd love to hear uh, your experience or your thoughts on it. It just looks exquisite anyway um, so as always I do this test just to show you guys uh, how opaque the pencils are or how translucent they are now one or the other isn't good or bad a lot of color pencil artists prefer like a op nice opaque pencil and others prefer uh, a slightly translucent a slightly uh, more translucent pencil because it will give them the ability for layering and things like that a little bit better so it, it's not like a, a good or bad thing it's just a, a thing and the best way to do this is to show on dark paper now as always um, all I'm doing is applying like a one heavy application and look look see so there we go the, on on the green pencil and again it's broke the cores come out absolutely shocking the the um the build quality of these pencils uh so i'm really sorry guys that i'm having to stop and sharpen this pencil i don't i always have things like this prepared uh on my reviews and so that i'm not stopping and starting this type of thing but unfortunately the build quality of these pencils is preventing me from doing that so anyway back here okay so um, next I'll do is the red this is just labeled red uh, but you can see there the green um, it's definitely visible but but when you see the image of this uh, over on the art gear guide the written review where you can click on it and zoom in on it you'll see that you can definitely see the black paper underneath it that red is very uh, muted because of the black paper so it's very translucent and now I will go with this this yellow this is canary yellow that I've used so it's a, a nice bright yellow you can see there it's, it's generating a little bit of crumbs but again that's because I'm putting down a heavy application 
and the core of it is soft not prismacolor soft but soft so there's the yellow again a little bit translucent there uh, the blue this is like a uh, pale blue I think the pale blue is a little bit like the the green there so it's it's kind of like a little bit more opaque than these two the red and the yellow but you still can see a little bit of the black paper through the the, the layer um, so now finally on to the white pencil And there you have it. So that's the, the, the test on the black paper there. Uh, you can see there's kind of like just variations. So the, the blue and the green, a little bit opaque, but there's still a little bit of translucency there. Same with the red and yellow, and the white is uh, quite translucent also. Okay guys, so that's my review here for the Color Colored Pencils, the 180 set. You know, the range of the, the range of colours in, in the, the palette are really quite nice. There's a few repetitive colours in there. But, you know, when you're going with a, a palette of 180 size, I'm sure, you you know, it's going to be incredibly difficult to, to not have a few similar colours in there. Um, my overall opinion of the pencils is that the core of the pencil is nice whenever you're using it. Um, it's such a shame that the build quality on these pencils is just diabolical. You've seen it there when I was using those pencils. Um, even before I put any pressure down or anything like that, the, the core just came out. And, and it did so because of what I said earlier on. Some of the barrels are warped uh, and, and some of the, the cores are not centered uh, which causes all kind of problems whenever you're sharpening and things like that. So build quality, absolutely terrible, which is such a shame because the, the, the artwork that I done with these pencils, I was relatively pleased with. Uh, I didn't experience any issues other than the, you know, the sharpening and the, that, that type of thing. But in terms of layering and blending, I, I didn't experience any issues at all with the, the core of the pencil. I have a huge problem with this. You know, color, uh, premium colored pencils, expert, artist premium quality. I have a huge problem with that because that is so misleading to people who may not be able to, you know, who who may just see these pencils on Amazon or something like that and go and buy them or AliExpress and not go to a reviewer to, to take a look first and see or do a little bit of research on them. When they see this, they're going to think that they're going to be getting that artist quality pencils and that's not the case anyway guys thank you so much for watching this review i really appreciate it um thank you so much for watching this review i so so appreciate all your support and um comments that you leave down below as well if anybody else is watching this has uh used these pencils or experienced them please let me know if you experienced the same issues i did uh and if not let me know you know either way um so that's it guys all the best, uh, look after yourselves and don't forget you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as well. Links for all those social media sites will be down below um, and all the best. Bye.